Hello everyone, welcome to the Biomechanics series. In this video, I am going to discuss about the third kinematic variable that is the direction of displacement. Now in the previous video, when I was talking about the degrees of freedom, I talked about the direction of displacement, right? So in that, I mentioned that there could be two directions, right? A positive one and a negative one in three axes, right? X, Y and Z. So movement can occur in three pairs, right? This is two into three axis, that is total six. So the first pair of movement is the flexion and extension. The second pair of movement is the abduction and adduction. The third pair of movement is the internal rotation and external rotation. Now in this video, we are going to learn the planes and axis of these movements. So first we will talk about the flexion extension movement. So to define flexion, suppose I am doing this movement. This is the ventral part and this is the dorsal part of the forearm. So when we are bringing the ventral parts closer, we will call it as flexion. And when we are bringing the dorsal parts closer, we will call it as extension. Now suppose I am doing shoulder flexion and shoulder extension. You can see this movement clearly only from the side view. So the plane of this movement is the sagittal plane. Now remember, whenever there is a rotation in any plane, the axis will be perpendicular to that plane. Now which axis is perpendicular to this plane is the x axis which is going horizontally. I already told you earlier in that video. So flexion extension is happening in the sagittal plane and the medial lateral axis or the coronal axis. Now the second part of the rotatory movement which is the abduction and adduction. Now abduction means away from the body and adduction, ad, add means towards the body. So this movement abduction and adduction you can see it from the frontal view. So the movement occurring in the frontal plane. Now perpendicular to the plane is which axis? Yes, the anterior posterior axis or the Z axis. So abduction adduction is happening in the frontal plane and the anterior posterior axis or the Z axis. Now we are left with the third pair that is internal rotation and external rotation. Now internal rotation means rotating the segments internally and external rotation means rotating the segment externally. Right? Now you can see this movement from the above view. Right? So it occurs in the transverse plane and which axis is perpendicular to the transverse plane? Yes, you are correct. It is the y axis or the vertical axis. So internal rotation and external rotation is happening in the transverse plane and vertical axis or the y axis. Right? So now we are going to summarize these movements with respect to axis and planes in the diagrammatic view. Okay, now let's see the movements with respect to axis and planes in the diagrammatic view. Now, first is the frontal plane or the y-x plane. Now, why this is y-x plane? I have described that in the earlier video. Please see that to understand this, right? So, in frontal plane, I already told you, you can see the abduction and adduction movement. So, abduction and adduction is happening in frontal plane. And which axis is perpendicular to this plane? Yes. The Z axis. So, abduction and adduction is happening in frontal plane and in Z axis. Now, you can also remember the axis by seeing the plane. See, frontal plane is Y x plane. Which is missing? The Z is missing. So, it will be on the Z axis. In exam, if you forget the axis and planes, you can remember it by this way too. Now, the second is the sagittal plane. So, I already told you in sagittal plane, you can see the flexion and extension movement. So, flexion extension is happening in sagittal plane. And which axis is perpendicular to this plane is x axis. So flexion extension is happening in sagittal or yz plane and around x axis that is the medial lateral axis. Now the third is the transverse plane. So I already told you you can see the internal rotation and external rotation in the transverse plane or the xz plane, right? So internal rotation and external rotation in transverse plane. And which axis is perpendicular to this plane is the y axis. So internal rotation and external rotation is happening in transverse plane and in the y axis. Right? So I think I have made this clear. Now remember there are some exceptions too. Like in case of thumb abduction, adduction and flexion extension in anatomical position. For thumb flexion extension, instead of the sagittal plane, it will happen in the frontal plane. But thumb abduction, adduction, instead of the frontal plane, it will happen in the sagittal plane. So the planes will interchange. It is also true for ankle supination and pronation. 
Remember, supination and pronation are combination of the movements. So it is a triplanar motion, and you cannot describe the motion with respect to a single plane. It will happen in the three planes, right? Now let's try to understand what we have learned till now with a practical example, right? Now suppose this glass is full of water or milk, whatever it is, and I am trying to take this glass to my mouth. Now when I am doing that, you can see this movement, right? It is not the elbow flexion and extension only. So if I do only elbow flexion and extension, it will happen in the sagittal plane and in the medial lateral axis, but that is not true. So what is happening is that the center of rotation actually changes with the movement. So there is another movement that is happening in the shoulder joint. So it basically produces a little bit of translation so that the center of rotation changes with every degrees of my elbow flexion and extension. Now here you can see when we are talking about the elbow flexion and extension, there is movement in the shoulder joint and also in the elbow joint too. Right? So this is a general motion that is happening in the body right? and the path it is taking is the curvilinear motion. There is curved path and there is linear path. Linear in the shoulder aspect with the change in the center of rotation and the curved path is the flexion extension or the rotation that is needed to take the glass to my mouth. Right? So I hope I have cleared this concept of axis, planes, movement, degrees of freedom and everything. But still, if you have any doubts, please reach out to me. You can also put your doubts in the comment box. I will try to answer every doubt. And also, I would suggest you take the MCQ test. The link will be given in the description box. And it's absolutely free. You can take the test whenever you want. Right? So now, if you have come to this end of the video, first of all, thank you so, so much for patiently listening to me. I hope I have cleared this concept of biomechanics clearly, but still, if you face any problems with your study, you can always reach out to me on my Instagram channel. You can also join my Telegram handle where I upload my personal notes, exam papers, etc. Now, a small request. If you think my work is helpful, you can contribute towards my channel. Any amount of contribution will be highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one with another topic of biomechanics. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.